Hello, everybody. I really want to talk to the hackers here because we have some exciting things to talk about. How important is privacy? So let me use an example. If you were in a taxi and you, made, you paid your taxi driver and suddenly your taxi driver knew all of your financial history, do you think that'd be a good thing? No, it would not. And they could tell not only where you shopped, what you bought this morning at Starbucks, it would be terrible. So what we're building is blockchain applications that, or we're supporting blockchain applications that keep your confidential data private. We're looking for hackers who can add a privacy component to their application. And we are offering prizes for those who do so. So we have $3,000 for first prize in secret and $2,000 for the second prize. We also have a bonus for anybody with a female-led winning team. So what we're looking for is creativity, utility, functionality, and then we have um, some other things that Guy will tell you about. We have several options for privacy, and we invite you to build with both of them. All right, so Secret Network is empowering Web3 privacy. Um, you can build on Ethereum and then leverage our privacy as a service to handle your sensitive data, your confidential data, and thereby protect your users from having their data openly readable on the blockchain. Or you can build with native programmable privacy by building to, starting with Cosmos and building with our secret SDK. So how does this work? What we have is the secret network tech stack. Not sure how much detail we'll go into here, but this is how the user interaction, the, the tech stack works, how the data is stored. If you are planning to build on secret, this would be a great slide to take a picture of because it'll help you understand how to architect your project for better secrecy. And then just to let you know, we have a lot of resources. We have people here ready to mentor you, ready to help you build your project. And we have a lot of documentation, as you can see below. So with that, I will hand it over to Guy. And at the end, we'll probably take some questions. Hey, can you hear me? Great. Um, well, thank you all for joining. Um, you're probably one of the first people to hear about Phoenix. We just started Phoenix about a month ago, and it's quite exciting because we believe that what we're actually bringing is quite transformational. So uh, maybe I'll start by saying what Phoenix is, and Phoenix is really the first EVM-compatible network that provides native encryption using fully homomorphic encryption. I'll talk about what fully homomorphic encryption is in a minute, but I do want to emphasize that when we talk about privacy, sometimes we, we don't really understand where it means. And I think a different way that makes sense to look into things is more around encryption. So let's take Venmo as an example. I don't know how many people here use Venmo, but by default, when you open the Venmo app, you can see everything that everybody did in Venmo. So I can see if a friend bought a pizza or bought something else. And my first thing that I do with Venmo is basically disable this option. Now, I have that option because Venmo enables me to get some level of confidentiality. But we don't have it today in the blockchain. Um, there have been several efforts to try and solve this problem. And some people also associate ZK into that. But really, the right way to address it is either through trusted execution environment, which is what Secret is doing, or through fully homomorphic encryption. So let's talk about FHE uh, and what it means. So um, fully homomorphic encryption is considered like a very novel encryption technology. It's been discussed for many years. What FHE enables you is the ability to do computation on encrypted data. So let's think about it for a minute. When we encrypt data today, it's basically useless. We can't do anything about that encrypted data unless we decrypt that data. But with fully homomorphic encryption, 
it, we actually have the ability to do operations on data while it's encrypted and get an encrypted output. And uh, the, the key challenges that were associated with FHE uh, in the past was that it's very complex and very, it's very slow, but all of that has actually been mitigated and we believe that it's a great fit for blockchain. And what FHE enables us to actually is to get encrypted transaction inputs, encrypted state updates, and encrypted storage, which basically gives us end-to-end -end encryption for Web3. Now, I know it may sound complex and, and, and maybe a little bit scary, but actually we've done it uh, in a way that is very easy to deploy. So we're introducing an FHE VM, which means that if you're a Solidity developer, you can basically just you know, use your Solidity background. You don't need to be a cryptographic expert. You don't need to learn a new language. There is an additional library that you can use that will enable you to decide which asset you want to encrypt, and that's it. From that moment onward, the assets that you encrypt are stored encrypted on the blockchain. You can share them with others. You can you know, give them permission to see that, or you can see it, but the network itself it's always encrypted. So uh, we did a hackathon um, two weeks ago in a Ferris. That was the first hackathon that we actually introduced Phoenix to the world. Um, and I was quite amazed with what people were able to do in 24 hours. Um, I'll, I'll give a, an example of a couple of use cases in a minute. But you can see the developer feedback. It's a very interesting area to, do, to, to learn. I think the business opportunity is quite high here. And uh, we would love to have you all explore this. It's not very complex. We have documentation. Uh, there is a great video that can really help people on board quickly. Uh, so some use cases that you can consider uh, when you're joining the hackathon. So on-chain gaming. This is actually a very cool example to consider if you want to build something that utilizes both Phoenix and Secret, because today we don't have any randomness on Phoenix. It will be added in the future, but you can actually get the randomness from uh, Secret and use that for your Phoenix smart contract. Now, why do we care about on-chain gaming? Because if you think about poker, you can't really do poker if you don't have any level of encryption whatsoever on the network. So that would be a really cool use case. Uh, private market for event tickets, if you want to share event tickets and use it in a confidential way. Private votings for DAO is another interesting use case. Crowdsource AI models, privacy preserving KYC, and also you know, even dark pools for early investors. Uh, so. I just I wanted to add one more use case that we don't have here, which is I'm really interested in seeing some medical or healthcare use cases where we can see that customer data, private sensitive data, is not exposed on the blockchain but kept in a secure environment. Yeah, I met a few folks when we were doing the mentorship hours, and they gave the example of they want to build a solution that actually takes medical data, put it on chain. How do you maintain the privacy of that? How do you do operations on that? So either Secret or Phoenix actually makes it very uh, easy to, to perform. Um, so I'll just finish with, you know, these are the prizes. Um, we hope to get you all on board. Uh, we have a, a team that supports Discord for questions. We have good material. Um, should be fun. And really, you know, looking forward to having you all. And I think the, the deadline is August 23rd to submit the project. So we've had the mentor hours already, but we will be available to do mentorship if you want more information. And also, we're planning a Zoom workshop with those who have expressed interest. So make sure you register interest with us if you want to um, participate in these prizes so that we can reach out to you and help you give you some basic information that will help you get started really quickly. Um, as far as I know, the, we entered a little bit late, so there's quite a lot of opportunity to succeed in this track. You can probably get one of the prizes if you decide to enter. And uh, we make it as easy as possible with, uh, with help and documentation. And other people who've done our hackathons have said it was so easy, it was great, and, and they got a good result. So we invite you to join us and, and hack away with us. Yeah, we have a booth just on the right side there. You're more than welcome to come and chat with us. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, everyone.